we will discuss this interesting problem of pathfinder there are two conducting spheres both having radius r it is easy if radius is same if radius is different it is slightly more interesting i'll take the different radius also at some point of time and show how different it would have been they are released in space and the distance between them is l which is greater than twice r and we have to find that after having released what the problem actually says is that we have to find their velocities uh, when they are basically after quite a long time once they collide the problem basically wants to know their velocity when they are very far away after a long time means very far away so once they collide so they have to collide once why they will collide because they will move towards each other because of the opposite charges they will collide at the midpoint because the masses are same the center of mass will not change so when they are colliding let me draw another diagram this is the position when they are colliding smaller masses are drawn both the radius are same so distance between their centers is twice r when they are colliding and let just just before their collision this is just before their collision distance is twice r let the velocity is be v1 and v2 where v1 will be equal to v2 in terms of magnitude directions are opposite both both will have same velocity because center of mass doesn't shift and when center of mass doesn't shift and the both the masses are same it means their velocity will be equal and opposite by intuition also you can say they both the velocities will be same so let the velocity here be vi vi of both and it is like this so just before the collision what are the velocities we should find out first what is the initial energy total energy initially is nothing but the potential energy which is minus q q times k upon l don't forget to put the sign total energy because initial kinetic energy is zero what is total energy at this mid midway i'll say means when when they are just about to collide about to collide about to collide this is their kinetic energy some of their kinetic energy means twice i'll do velocity is vi plus the potential energy at this point of time when the, when they are just about to collide their potential energy you have to take into consideration which is minus k q q upon twice r is their potential energy when they, they are just about to collide because their separation is now twice r so from here we know that their this thing their velocity they, they you can find if it is required though it is not required but still i am doing vi square will be equal to k q q upon twice r minus k q q upon l is their relationship for the velocity now once they collide we have to analyze this thing in detail it is elastic collision so they will just have same they will retain the velocities but it will be in opposite direction now and what are the charges suppose the charges now are q1 and q2 because the radius are same we will get q1 equal to q2 and how i will get q1 equal to q2 let me show also the potential at the surface this is conducting so the potential at the surface of the conducting sphere is nothing but k q1 upon r for first sphere and for the second sphere is again k q2 upon r since they were in contact i am talking about just when they are touching each other briefly they were in contact so their potential has to be same when they are in contact so q1 upon r is equal to q2 upon r had the radius been different q1 and q2 would have been different but radius is same so q1 is equal to q2 is equal to say q1 charges charges are conserved so q minus q is equal to q1 plus q2 so this is nothing but twice q1 so q1 is q1 
minus q upon 2. This we have found. We have found what is the energy in the midway. This is the energy we have from there we have found the velocities also. Now once they collide, once they collide you don't take this error should not be done because, done because this is not the energy now, after, potential energy after the collision. This is potential energy before collision. Now once they collide the whole charges get altered. So just suppose they have already collided and now they are starting to separate. So this is the velocity V1 and this is velocity V2. Separations remains twice R. But the potential energy now is, once they start moving apart, is K Q dash square upon twice R, which is K upon twice R into Q minus Q whole square upon 4, which is nothing but K Q minus Q whole square upon 8 R is the potential energy now. And what is the total energy? You have to take potential energy and kinetic energy. So total energy after collision, just after collision, is equal to half mvi square into 2. That is twice of the kinetic energy, which is because both have same kinetic energy, plus the potential energy is k q minus q whole square upon 8r. Now, half, once they are very far away, their potential energy is tending to zero, but they will have some final velocity Vf. So the final energy is twice half mv final square, which will be equal to this energy just after collision, which is mvi square upon 2 into 2 plus k q minus q whole square upon 8r. Now what is the value of this? Value of this we know is k times uh, qq upon twice r minus qq upon l. This is the value we have, we have already found out. I am just replacing it instead of finding b and then putting it. It's better to use the same whole expression without full solving. And this is plus k q minus q whole square upon 8r. Let us take k upon 8r as common. So here you get uh, 4qq and here you get minus qq times 8r uh, upon l and here we get plus q minus q whole square. So when we solve it, because the answer here is rather interesting, k upon, if there is any calculation mistake, please correct it. So it will become, if you solve it, it will become q plus q whole square. Because this is 4qq, here you get minus twice, and this is minus qq, 8r upon l. So once you solve it, it becomes k upon, you just take 8r inside, so q plus q whole square upon 8r minus q q upon l this is half m v final square into 2 so this is v final is nothing but 1 upon 4 pi absolute not m into q plus q whole square upon 8r minus q q upon l and this should be the answer.